All right, guys, so we have uh, Bill Burr on double standards. Let's check it out. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this immediately. All right, let's get weird. You know, like I dated this girl one time. She was like really into like women's issues. Okay. So we used to always have these dumbass arguments. So one time she came up to me, she goes, okay, explain this to me, Bill. Why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job, huh? Hmm? Hmm? Oh no, the pay gap. I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some fucked up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. I mean, that is a thing, but that's definitely not the reason why. If someone's working the same job, male and female, and you're getting paid differently, a lot of it generally comes down to one thing, right? Like, example, I'm a business owner. Um, if someone says to me, I'll do the job for 20, and it's a really good price, I'm gonna say, okay, no problem, you got 20, no problem, right? But then another person comes up and says, but I can do it for 10, right? Like a couple of months later, let's say, right? And then I'm just like, eh, do I tell them that I should be paying you 20, but you're you're saying you are only worth ten, guys. A lot of it, a lot of it comes down to the ability to directly ask for a raise and not undervaluing yourself at um, the signing of a contract, guys. Um, that's how kind of I see it, right? Specifically, if it comes down to someone working the same job and they're different genders, at least, right? Just an opinion, obviously, but you know, it's my opinion. Let's get it. Hey, that's why I get the dollar bar now. Well, think about it. If there's a house fire, it's always women and children first. Right. I got to stand there with like the back of my shirt on fire going, let's go, people. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> so that's how I look at it. No, it's a dollar an hour surcharge. Right. That if something f***ed up happens, either I can't leave or I got to like get in the way of it to give you a head start. Like, right. grab it, dog. Run, honey. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. <laughs> You hear a bump in the night, I gotta go check it out. Like, yes, he does have a knife. Yep, exactly. Anytime there's a hostage one. situation, who do they negotiate for first? Well, at least let the women and children go. Well, what about me? Right. Right. He, I mean, listen, he's not wrong, guys, right? How he's, how he's putting it is, is funny, right? But he's not really wrong with these crazy double standards that exist within our community, right? Um, the social contract is, is a little odd nowadays, guys. It's, it's weird. Maybe we should change uh, some of these, um, these, these contractual things that our society signed up for, uh, you know, that none of us were at the table for. Specifically, if times are changing, we also need to change this, uh, the, the concept of the social contract, guys. That's it, right? Let's get it. And definitely stop undervaluing yourself and then saying that there's an issue because no business is gonna be like, you know what, you're right. Let me give you just as much as I gave this person. You didn't ask for it. I own a business, I would never do that. I'm being honest, I would never do that. No chance, that doesn't make any sense. That's bad business, let's get it. Bullets hurt me too, why the f do I gotta stay in the vault? <laughs> no, that's my point, man. Where are all the f in those situations? You know what I mean, you can't find them. There are no f and it's in a house fire. That's a, that's a guarantee. You can take the most hardcore f and some chick right in your face, like he's shoving his son of a bitch. Little short, little haircut, the whole nine yards, right? <laughs> Second those flames break out, she's gonna twist those little hairs into pigtails. No, I'm just a girl. I wanna go play jump rope. And leave you standing in a burning house like you're not flammable. Oh my God, bro. You know, but I'm not, I'm not a dick though. Right, 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 Bill Burr. I'm not, I'm not saying I think a woman should make a doll less an hour to do the same job. All right, I'm saying not. is if you're going to make what I make when the boat sinks, you better be standing right there next to me, listening to that guy play the cello. <laughs> then you get to corner office. Right. Okay. You get all the benefits or whatever. Yeah, I mean, we, there, there are a lot more double standards um, that Bill Burr could have pointed out. Absolutely, right? Um, we could be talk about, like, you know... I don't want to get into it. But there are a lot of double standards, all right? A lot of them have to do with court, okay? And, and custody and, uh, and alimony. <laughs> and, and all these other things that have to do with court, guys. All right, let's get into that. It's all about sentencing also. There's an there's odd disparity in that one, isn't it? Anyway, guys, um, Bill Burr, absolutely dope, guys. No complaints here. Um, 
continue bringing light to topics that need um, conversations. He's really good at starting a conversation, guys. And we should definitely uh, get to the point where we can actually have it uh, coherently, right? But all right, let me know in the comments on the next thing from him that I should be checking out. And I will get to that as soon as I possibly can. All right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy it thoroughly.